Hey, so someone, um, Jay Mott, asked me how I feel about going to school and homeschooling and having a house and family and a life and all those kinds of things. And so I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, I am in my second official year um, as a nursing student. What that means here is it's a three-year official program, but I've already done all my prerequisites and things like that, which is what they expect out of you in your first year. So last um, two semesters were um, the first year of the nursing program. I'm in the second year, my junior year, and then I'll be in my senior year, and I graduate December 2016th. I take um, summers off. I have to for my sanity and for my children and my family. Um, I just, I need to. Uh, plus, they don't really offer a way to expedite the program. You stay where you are, and really that's good. When I first went back to school, I thought, man, I just want to get it done. I just want to get it done and get back home. And I took like 18 semester hours my first semester um, back at a university, not including um, online classes that I had taken before. And whew, that was rough. And I said, when is the summer? Because I can't handle this. Uh, school is very, very stressful for me. If I could show you, and I might, you might have seen before, I can show you maybe a little bit. I have, um, maybe you can see it this way, really, really bad alopecia. I've had it since I was a teenager. Uh, for me personally, it's stress related. We had a fire and it started out as a small spot actually over here. And then it has spread and it's growing back. You maybe saw it over there in my Anna hair. It's coming in white, which I think is going to be kind of cool. My kids are like, why do you have white hair? I'm like, God gave it to me and I like it. <laughs> um, I've actually picked on some pounds too. I'm working on losing them. This year I've just really decided to be very, very purposeful with my life. Thankfully my children are small and so some of the areas where we weren't doing like official school, um, that's been okay. But now my oldest, she's very advanced. She always wants an activity, always wants to be doing something and I have to be prepared for her because if I'm not, I'm just all over the place all day trying to come up with things for her to do or cleaning up messages she's made. So that's where I got into getting my planner. Um, because I would think I have it all here, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't remember that we were doing things. I would want to do something, and it would pass me by because I couldn't remember when it was, and it was coming, and it would be gone by the time I was like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that. So, I'm already planning out field trips. We have um, a children's museum membership for Indianapolis. I'd like to go there once a month. They offer homeschool family programs. We've registered for at least one uh, for the 15th of this month, and I want to register for another one in March. And there's a Very Hungry Caterpillar experience at Butler University that I want to do. But man, it went from $45 for $15 a piece to $69.75 after stuff. And I'm like, like fees and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, is there a cheaper way? Can I buy it there and it be cheaper? Can I buy it online and it be cheaper? Because I called to make sure they still had availability. Anyways, I digress. Um, so, I'm a free spirit, but routine has become key for me. Routine, routine, routine. I get up in the morning. My husband um, leaves for work fairly early. And I now have a friend coming to meet me to do insanity in the morning. Even if she doesn't come, I still do it. This morning, I opted to clean while my children were asleep and do insanity when they were awake. And that worked out okay. They played in the playroom. I invited them to come. My youngest watched for a little bit. But so anyways, let's start with when I wake up. We'll go there. Um, actually, no. We're going to start with the night, the night before, okay? So the night before... I attempt to have our clothing picked out for the next day. That doesn't always happen. But I like it when that happens. Especially if we're going somewhere have something else to do. It makes it very easy. I put their clothes in the bathroom. I have my clothes in the bathroom. Um, and we just put them on when we're ready to go. I'll have my exercise clothes and my clothes that I'm going to wear after I take a shower. I've got them out and got them ready. Um, when my husband, when we get up, I go downstairs. I make his lunch make coffee, all that 
kind of breakfast stuff, and then I come back up when he's gone, and I make the bed, I try to read the Bible, um, and I'm going to exercise, right? So I'm exercising, and then after that, I'm cleaning myself, getting dressed, and I've got some time. So during that time, what am I doing? I'm cleaning, I'm washing laundry, because all of a sudden I went from the night before to the morning. <laughs> Uh, the other thing I was trying to say I do the night before is I prepare the clothes I want to wash the next day. So on Mondays, I like to wash um, adult large clothes. I mean, dark clothes. And um, so I'll have all of those in a basket and I take them down with me and I put them in the washing machine while I'm making the lunch or something like that. And then I'll switch them eventually and then I will fold them eventually and I at least try to get them back upstairs. Um... I still have laundry up here that needs to be put away, but it's in my closet, and it's folded, so that's, that's good. That's real good. Uh, having that habit has helped a lot. It's at least getting washed and dried and usually folded the same day, and sometimes even put away the same day or the next morning. So usually it's adult dark clothes, then adult light clothes, then I wash all of my kids' clothes together. At some point, I wash my husband's clothes usually Wednesdays or Thursdays if then like my sheets usually and towels usually go on the light day Friday's kind of a flex day excuse me either I have nothing or there's something that's come up and I wash it like the blankets we snuggle with in the living room get funky after a while and those need clean so I try to keep up on a laundry routine um this semester I'm also going to be much more purposeful with <laughs> my studying habits uh, last semester, man, I just gave myself a hard time. I had class on Monday night from 2 to 10, um, and then I had early morning Tuesday from 8 to 6, but then I would study at the library, and my mother-in-law would be here, and I wouldn't get home until 8.30, and then on Wednesdays, I had class. Um, I would leave a little bit earlier because my class was short so that I could study or go to the gym at school. So from 11 to 6, I was gone. So we're talking about 30 hours in the first three days of the week. I was not home. And then every other Saturday, I had clinicals at 3 in the morning. I was waking up to go an hour away to be there by 5. This semester, I only have class two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, and they have the same schedule. I am taking an additional class aside from my nursing. I have to be full-time with my VA um, to get 100% of my GA Bill funding. And so I'm going to pay for my school, but for my um, living stipend, things like that. So um, I'm taking my second minor in philosophy. First one's in sociology. Already done with that. And then... Um, Anyhow, but my classes are in me Mondays and Fridays from 8 to 5.30. So I'm still going to be getting home in time to have supper. It might be a crockpot supper or it's going to be a planned easy supper. And I try to either write on my calendar in my kitchen what we've already ate so that I know what not to fix. Or I try to pull out things and have them ready. I want to get a monthly meal plan, but I haven't, haven't got there just yet. Um, I'm working on it. I usually try to at least do a week. This month we're trying to eat out of our pantry. <coughs> and uh, that's going pretty well so far. Except tonight I made a roast. But it really needed to cook a lot longer than I had started. And everything else I had was frozen. And it felt like I didn't have enough leftovers. And we had just ate the stuff last night. And it was... Something that I make a lot, shepherd's pie, but I hadn't made it in a while and the kids were hit or miss, so I ordered a pizza. And then they said they didn't really deliver where we live because we live far away, but they brought it for $5 extra anyways, and I was like, this was a bad idea because the kids didn't even want to eat it. It was, it was weird. I know spinduary fail. Anyhow, learned my lesson. Uh, so... I try to make sure I have my laundry done. I try to make sure that I get my studying done. I try to make sure that I um, am exercising now. And I try to make sure that I have food planned out. But I wasn't really doing this school with the kids. We were reading and stuff. But I was so focused on my school. Because you have to have a 79%. And that might not like sound 
you know, okay, but when you've got all this other stuff going on, trying to maintain a C level in these really super hard classes is hard. I made it. I got 80-something, um, low 80s, <laughs> but I made it in all my classes, uh, nursing classes. Some of them I had higher, like 90s. Two of them last semester were very hard. Um, so it does require extra effort on my part, but planning that's what I've decided to do to embrace the plan and this one month break that I've had from school planning things out and reveling a little bit in the freedom of my day-to-day -day, but at the same time making note like I'm prepared for next semester makes me feel good so if you're working I would just say plan try if you can to have a schedule that is um the same you know I'm going to be out of the house this many hours this, these days of the week um, if you have a sitter or ask them can you do these things for me if your kids are old enough do they have some independence can you know I can say to my daughter you need to read five books and here's a notebook where you're going to write the title of those five books down and tell a sitter she needs to read five books she needs to write them down and that's going to happen. Um, it's happened before. <laughs> so um, getting the people on your team on board. I'm so thankful that we have family. My sitter is a close friend I knew in high school. So it's it's working out really well for us. So I would say having support has super been helpful. Now having this plan is super helpful. I've um, changed things up in how our playroom, schoolroom is set up to make things easier for them to get to. So planning and organization have been the key to mainstreaming um, and maintaining my uh, level of some kind of sanity during this. It is difficult. This is a road that I have chosen that I feel God has led me to take. Um, I really feel led to homeschool my children. Um, I like nursing. I don't necessarily, I'm not going to be like a full-time breadwinner person doing that. It's going to be a part-time thing. My husband is a pipe fitter and uh, makes pretty good money. Um, uh, but if he were ever laid off, he was laid off for a month this summer, you know, I could go from being weekend part-time to, hey, I can be full-time now. Nursing is very flexible. When I was in the Army, I was a medic, so it's something that I'm familiar with. It's something that I enjoy. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to be a slave to the hospital. Um, I'm just not. Thankfully, I don't have to be. Um, right now, I am a slave to the school. And I have to be there. And I have to study, you know. I don't necessarily. i got to keep up on my certs. But you don't necessarily have to, like, study for your for your job, usually. So, it will be, it will be different. But I would just say, you know, pray look for support, organize, and plan as much as you can. You know, I, I just didn't think that that was going to be good for me, that, that was, I was that kind of person, but I am. <laughs> I really, really am. You can see me going off in here. I don't plan these vlogs. I mean, I get an idea of what I want to say, and I just kind of roll with it. And So there's tangents, and there's rambling, but I like videos like that. I'm real. I think, I hope you like that. I liked watching, like, Mahogany Homemaker. She was my favorite. And she would just ramble. So, I'm digressing. And I'm going to go check on my kids. I heard my old youngest coughing and try to get my husband up here to bed. It's almost midnight. So, I'm also getting tired and that's leading to the rambling. But, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how do you do deal with all of the things that are going on in your life. Do you work? Do you go to school? Do you have extenuating circumstances that cause you to, you know, really have to um, prioritize your day and the things that you're doing in it? So let me know how you do. And um, if I didn't clarify something, if you want to know more about something that I do, because um, I probably left a lot of stuff out, you know, like grocery shopping and things like that. So just let me know. And I will try to, you know, make a better plan and tell you guys more next time. So thanks again. Talk to you later. Hope that helps, J-Mot. Bye.